Hey guys, Ivan here, and we have a couple of very interesting stories, but we will start this video with a physique update of Nick Walker, and also the question, can this guy win the Mr. Olympia this year? I think that is the question, I think that's the question, I think the answer is probably yes. I know, it sounds crazy, he turned pro two years ago, how can he already win the Mr. Olympia, but look at this guy, look at this freaking monster right here. Just a look at him when he hits this most muscular, wow. Do Hunter Labrada, Brandon Curry or Hadi Chopin look this impressive right now? I don't think so. I think he surpassed these guys. I'm pretty sure that he's gonna make a leap this year at the Mr. Olympia. And can he win? Can he beat Big Ramy? That would be really tough. But look at his front double bicep. Look at the size of this monster. Look at the size of those freaking arms. The only thing that I'm worried about is can he peak with his new coach the way he was peaking with Matt Jansen? That's the only thing. But guys, consider this. 2021 was basically his pro debut year. And in his pro debut, he won the second biggest show in the world, Arnold Classic, possibly third biggest show in the world, New York Pro, and placed top five at the Mr. Olympia. And he wasn't even at his best at the Mr. Olympia. And this year, he's going to be better, bigger, and he's doing only one show, guys, one show, Mr. Olympia. So he will be at his absolute best. If everything goes well with him and his coach, if he peaks properly, if he doesn't mess it up in the final week, which I don't think he will do, and if Big Ram becomes on as well, I think this is going to be the top two this year. I think it's going to be between Big Ramy and Nick Walker, based on what I'm seeing here. A look at this side chest. Just when you thought that that side chest cannot be any freakier, that he can't get any bigger, his body said no, he can get even bigger, and so he did. He looks bigger, freakier, this year than he did last year and again he has one show to peek at only one show to give it all of his to one show and that's the mr olympia and this guy is not joking he's actually fighting for the title he actually plans on winning this year and he might even do it but if that doesn't happen i'm sure he's going to place higher i can't imagine nick placing fifth again or below that I'm pretty sure this year this guy will be at least top 3, if not even the winner of the Mr. Olympia. He looks really big right now, really massive, but I'm pretty sure they actually trained legs before they took these photos, because on Fuad's stories, uh, they were training legs with Brandon Curry, I'm gonna show you that in a second as well, but as you can see, he, I mean, he has more than 20 weeks until the Mr. Olympia, so he's probably not taking any harder engagements at this point, nothing super toxic, he's saving those... Uh, the, the toughest drugs, you know, for the end of the prep, so right now he looks a little bit smooth, not fat, he looks very lean, just a little bit smooth, a little bit watery, but you can see the size added, he definitely grew, he definitely added more tissue to his frame, he's definitely bigger, and on stage he's going to look better. Just watch this video once again, one of the freakiest bodybuilders of all time, that's for sure, I mean, is he good enough to be one of the best bodybuilders of all time? Well, he will make that statement if he wins the Mr. Olympia this year, of course, and I think he has it, I think he definitely has the potential, we'll see how it all will go, we'll see how well will he peak, how well will he compare against the other guys, and will they be on, it all depends on so many factors, but look at this, look at the size of those freaking arms and just the entire physique, Insane, insane, just just freaky, insane. So I definitely can imagine this guy winning the Mr. Olympia. Whatever you guys think, don't tell me in the comment section down below. Real quick, guys, I want to show you Old School Labs BCAA, classic BCAA. The watermelon flavor is really nice and it's really refreshing, especially during these hot summer days. Of course, it's not only tasting good, a constant stream of amino acids to your muscles while you're training is definitely beneficial. It can't hurt, at least. So guys, if you want to support my channel, you can try this product out. You can click in the link in the description of this video and use the code DIVON for a 12% discount. Alright, next we have a physique update, a couple of physique updates. There are a couple of photos of Ian Valier. And I didn't realize that Ian actually has so many haters. Whenever I make a video about him, there is so many people in the comment section hating on him. Saying that he has no calves, uh, he has no triceps, a weak back, weak chest, uh, this and that. 
people really dislike this guy and i mean i get it because he does have some really strong opinions but you know me personally i respect a person who has their own opinions even though they might be controversial sometimes and even if i disagree i still like to hear new interesting opinions i don't like to listen to all the same stuff all the time politically correct stuff i don't like that that's just boring and ian is definitely not a boring person but as far as his physique i'm also a fan now, if you look at this photo here, you can see his quads, his massive and shredded quads. Now, why is he showing only his quads at this point four weeks out? Why not his calves? Why is he hiding his calves? We all can pretty much make an assumption, a solid assumption. We can all pretty much guess why is he doing that because he has no calves. That's the truth. If you guys don't like it, it's okay. But the judges don't really care about that. Nobody ever won or lost a show because of calves. And he's not showing his upper body also because he's probably insecure about his chest right now. Because, you know, he has weak chest. And when he's flat, that's the, the body part that shows the most. His quads are great and they look good even when he's flat. But his chest probably doesn't. So he's showing us what looks good right now. And that is his quads. So he looks really good at four weeks out. Really shredded. I'm curious about his weight right now. I mean, he said that he's going to be around 262. That's what he expects. So that's, that's big. That's one really big bodybuilder. And based on what I'm seeing here and the next couple of photos that I'm about to show you, he looks bigger than ever, for sure. And also, he's very lean. Maybe he looks too good. Unnecessarily good for this show. Nobody's gonna be close to his size and I don't even know if anybody's gonna be as conditioned as him But there's actually gonna be seven guys in one cooler pro show instead of five They added two more guys So it's gonna look a little bit more like an actual show, you know, five guys only on stage That should be one call out and there should be two more call outs at least But instead we're gonna have probably that one single call out and maybe another one most likely Ian versus Antoine, and that's gonna be it. Now, me personally, I don't imagine Antoine can beat Ian. I see a lot of people want to see that happen because, of course, Antoine has many more fans. People just love Antoine and people simply hate Ian. So that's probably why they want to see that happen. And also, Antoine has really a static physique, while Ian's physique is really rugged. And, you know, he's massive and he's shredded, but not a pretty looking physique. So I get it. Most people would prefer to look like Antoine than like Ian. But, you know, based on the judging criteria, not based on what I like, what you like or whoever, based on the judging criteria, I think Ian is actually not gonna have any real competition in this show, not even Antoine. Here's a side tricep update posted by Ian's coach Patrick Tour. He says four days out and he says that Ian is really flat here and you can kind of see that he is pretty flat here. So when he starts carving up and he says, Patrick says this is the last uh, flat mode day. So at three days out, he's gonna start carving up slowly. So I'm sure every next update that we see of Ian is going to look more and more impressive. And when he finally hits that stage, it's going to be lights out for everybody else. Come on, guys. I mean, you can hate this guy, you can dislike his physique, but let's be real here. This guy is seventh at the Mr. Olympia two years in a row. He won four pro shows. And he's going to win this one easily. He will beat Antoine. If you guys disagree, however, you have that, right? Of course, you can tell me in the comment section down below. Whatever you want to say. But me personally, I'm really convinced that Ian is gonna have an easy win with this show. Alright, next I wanted to talk a little bit about Brandon Curry. So I mentioned him before, he trained legs with Nick. I'm gonna show that to you in a moment. But here is the photo that I found on Regan's Instagram page. He pinned this one. It is basically his attempt to show that he's not that far away from the Mr. Olympia, former Mr. Olympia Brandon Curry and also top 6 Mr. Olympia finisher Steve Kuklo. But what I'm seeing here, the thing that I noticed first, and I'm sure most of you are staring at the same thing right now, is Brandon's legs. So you guys know that this is basically the reason why Brandon didn't win uh, the two Mr. Olympias that Big Grammy won. If he had great legs, he would win those Mr. Olympia. His upper body is amazing, but his legs are obviously very weak. Now, I always wondered why is that. Of course, it's partly genetic, but is it also training? Check this out. Fuad Abiyad made his story, so he was training legs with him. Of course, Nick Walker was there as well. Anyways, this is Cybex leg press, I believe. And nine plates per side is not really super insane. It's heavy, but it's not crazy heavy. But check the execution here. This is what they call a fluffy set. So he's not super focused on uh, negatives. 
he's pushing this weight through the ball of his foot. He's not even placing his heels on the platform. Which means he's trying to target his quads more, I get that, but if you're lifting really heavy, you need to place your whole foot on the platform, you need to use your heels, you can't lift crazy heavy weight with only your toes. So he's not very intense with his execution, he can do this with his arms and back and chest, you know, he can do this kind of fluffy sets, because that's his genetically strong body parts, but legs, I think he needs to do something different. I really hope that this is the way he is training all the time, that this is how he's doing his sets even when he is in Kuwait, when he's focused on his prep. I am hoping this because if this is the reason his legs are weak, he can change this in half a year, if he starts training actually hard. Another thing is range of motion, he's not going super low, he's not really going all the way down. There is definitely more room, he can lower this weight way more, but he doesn't do it, for whatever reason. Look guys, forget about the foot placement, forget about the tempo, forget about the range of motion. Just look at when he stops the set. He did not stop when he failed, he did not go even close to failure. He stopped when it got hard, it's not like somebody is filming him from the background, he knew that he's gonna be posted on Instagram, so he doesn't wanna embarrass himself, I'm assuming, and so he probably would try to do something impressive, something that looks good, something that looks like he's training hard, but still he stops here. Why? You could argue that this actually wasn't a working set, that it was only a warm-up set, but would Fuad actually post only a warm-up set without the working set? It doesn't make a lot of sense. And also you can say that maybe he's doing 50 sets like that, and it adds up, but <laughs> I don't think that would also be a good idea. I mean, not going to failure, not really going super intense, unless a body part is incredibly genetically blessed, that's no way to grow it, man, it's not. The only thing, the only excuse that I can think of is that he did not go to Kuwait and he's not really training super hard right now, so he didn't want to go to failure. But really, I mean, you saw that, you saw that set, it was really fluffy, and I think that's basically the reason why his legs are so weak. It's because he doesn't go super intense on leg training. Maybe he has an injury that is preventing him for it, maybe it's just a psychological barrier, whatever it is, if he is training like that all the time, that's the reason why his legs are not big, simple as that. Like I said, I think Nick is going to beat Brandon this year at the Mr. Olympia, and this is one of the reasons. Check out the way Nick Walker's sets are ending. Look at this, look at this. Brandon, look at this. This is what you need to do in order to progress in a leg department. Alright, and for the end of this video, we have another physique update of the best bodybuilder in the history of bodybuilding, Ronnie Coleman. He has been retired for a long time, long, long time, and also he has so many back injuries, he can't even walk properly, and maybe we shouldn't even be talking about his physique right now, but he posted this, and he's the greatest of all time, so I'm always interested to see what he looks like, and as you guys can see right here, this is his most recent physique update. This is his arm, you can see at least his arm, his shoulder, and uh, he's in the gym, So and he's standing here, so... That's good enough, I guess. I mean, until recently, he wasn't even able to walk, to stand. He was in so much pain and he wasn't able to train. But as you probably noticed in the past year or so, he posted so many gym photos. So he's in the gym, he's training, it's good. He loves that, it's good for his mental health. He spoke about the stem cell treatment is uh, helping him a lot. So I hope he's healthy. He looks good for his age and considering how long he has been retired. But whatever you guys think though, tell me in the comment section down below, like this video if you enjoyed it, and for more videos like this, subscribe to my channel guys. Thank you so much for watching, all the best and bye bye.